So, hey guys, Chauzo here. So yeah, we got the reveal today of le uh, yesterday, I should say, about the Legion Bon Clay is coming to OpenTC finally. If you're not aware, this was a voted for legend. We had the options of voting for Bon Clay, Tashigi, Caesar or Ivanko. So we're getting all of these units, this treasure map, but of course only one of them is a legend, which is Bon Clay. So if you think this bash looks a bit random, that's the reason for that. But yeah, Bon Clay. I'm honestly very happy with the design they settled for him. This was like a lot of the fan design we discussed in the community how they should do a legend Bon Clay. So I feel like the essence hits the mark, but I feel like... In reality, it will probably under-deliver, but I'm still overall happy with the result. But yeah, let's take a look. So the first thing you notice with Bon Clay is that he's a Psy fighter and free spirit, at least at the start. But also the fact that he has some good, cool limit break abilities, like both reduce CD and Hunger, two very valuable ones. And pin shielding makes sense with his design at least, so can't complain about that. He also has a very cool captain, even if it's pretty basic, like 5 times attack with matching, otherwise 4.5 times attack. You have an HP boost and a bit more rare, he also boosts recovery, very good, considering what his special does. And he also makes recovery and tandem beneficial to the crew. And that last part really makes me happy because that really opens up a lot of ship possibilities with this Bon Clay, and considering how his special works, like, like ideas are already f flowing in my head about the stuff you can do. It would be very fun to mess around with these units. Uh, to talk about something unrelated, I really think his art is disappointing. I prefer the 5 star art personally. People might disagree with that, but I think it's more iconic than this random 6 star art he got. But for the Sprite, I think that totally nails it. The Sprite is amazing, very iconic, very cool to see in-game. But let's take a look at the special. Uh, change his own type and both classes to the type and classes that you select. Uh, if you're interested to see how this looks, you can go into the uh, World Government YouTube channel, which has uploaded a video where you can see this. Basically, you get a pop-up menu where you select color and classes. Other than that, reduces crew special charge by one turn and changes all slots, including block, into recovery. Boosts crew space attack by plus 1500 for two turns. So, yeah, this is very cool, of course. Like, Von Clay can match any scenario. Like... The possibilities are really endless with be being able to be whatever color and class you want. Like if you run a like a team that needs a Dex Captain for some reason, you can become Dex. If you have a sub with a special that only boosts orbs for strikers, then suddenly you can become a striker. Like you can pair this Bonkley up with, for example, Roger and Whitebeard, who are striker and uh, slasher captains. And shouldn't be boosted by bon shouldn't boost Bonkley, but then Bonkley can become a striker or a slasher himself. So stuff like that. Uh, it's also good that he does seed reduction and orb manip. And recovery orb manip is still very rare. And the cool thing with Bonkley is that he has various ways of locking orbs too, like both the gym base support for free spirit, as well as the new uh, Iwanko trash map recruit, which also lets Bonclay lock orbs. So that will be a very good support unit to get. Uh, he also do does the base attack boost, and this is kind of where the hype starts to die a bit because. This, like this buff is spammed a lot now, so it might look good and everything, but comparatively to other buffs, like this is pretty weak. Like it's, at least it's plus 1500, so it's a bit higher than normal, 
But like compared to other buffs, it's still not even a two times buff really, if you translate it into a number value. So yeah, it doesn't really benefit a lot of it in a lot of scenarios. But yeah, overall I think it's very cool and you can do a lot of stuff like you can run this Bonkley on any Mono team and he can fit in. Like he can be a sub on like 6 plus V2 Mihawk for example who doesn't work with anything but slashers and then suddenly he can start work after you use Bonkley special like stupid stuff like that. So yeah, I'm very excited to try him out in the future. And of course there's a nice synergy with increased recovery in cap, getting recovery with the special, being able to lock it with support. So very bulky legend as well. And another cool thing with Bon Clay is that his super type uh, can be used after you use his special basically and get a base attack boost. And you get a free chain lock and you turn any type into super type. Like it depends on the color of Bon Clay himself. So if Bon Clay is strength, every strength unit becomes super type and so on. Very cool design decision. As for the super type special itself, like it's fine, like 3.25 times chain lock is not the most type, but it will definitely be useful in some scenarios. Like OPTC is still a pretty easy game, so it's not like we need to optimize the chain a lot of the time. So most times 3.25 times chain lock is fine. Sailors, pretty decent, like making recovery beneficial just makes his kit works. It's good that it's for the whole crew. And yeah, uh, his support is also pretty disappointed. It would have been good if it removed poison, but it doesn't. So it's just a small healing and giving a very neglectable base attack boost. And I'm not going to look at the rumble abilities here. But overall, I'm happy they went with this. But in reality, there will be little reason to use this guy a lot of the time. Uh, he should definitely be a good sub though since he has the reduced CD. He has a full board block manip to a pretty, a pretty unique one as well. Easy to lock the orbs. And then you have a unit that is perfectly tailored for the rest of the team. For what is needed to be done. So I think this will be a good unit to use. Won't see much use as captain. We see a bit more use as sub. But if you like to meme like me. Then you will really enjoy this bon clay. I think. That's probably how I see it. If I could change something about him personally. I'd change his seed reduction. To two turns. At least. That will have been a bit more noteworthy. And I also changed it so his CD was a little bit lower, like 11 or maybe even 10, but 11 at least, I'd say. Those two changes, then I'd be a lot more happy with this legend, but I'm still satisfied, for sure. Uh, let's take a look at the others a bit. Uh, we got the Negavapol unit, he should be a high booster in the trash map. I think it looks okay, but I'm not going to talk about him. Then we have the... Ivanko, and yeah, he also has hunger, and yeah, there we have the support I was talking about. Lock the slots will be invaluable for the new Bon Clay easily, the best support for him, considering how his kit works. And yeah, you see that it is special as good synergy with Bon Clay at least, but will probably not be super big reason to use it. Even if it makes it uh, th that Bon Clay's base attack boost works for two stages. But as I said, base attack boost in general is not very noteworthy. Uh, then we have the Caesar, and I really need to stop giving him rare recruits. And honestly, his kit is very weird. Like, uh, it has very little synergy. Like, depending on the captain, you can either poison the enemy, or you can give a poison conditional. Like, 
like in 2022, like doing either of those only is not very big value. You want both poison and give conditional. And this Caesar can't really do that. Like it depends because as you see, he does have double special. So I guess the plan they have with this Caesar is that you can start with like Bonclay Asai, use Caesar special, then use Bonclay special, change color. And now Caesar Q special again to get the other effect. And that will honestly be one of the cool things you can do with Bonclay because... There are other units who have color-based specials like this, but I think it's very far-fetched. And this Caesar, sure, might be okay design for Bond Clay, but in general, not the best rear recruit. And support is like fine. It's like the support Caesar, but a little bit worse, but at least uh, consistent. Like the support Caesar only works if you do damage. This one always works. It can always re reduce one turn of bind. So. That's cool. Uh, as for Retashigi, uh, one of the worst trash map units in a while, but I honestly don't care because her support is freaking godlike. Arguably the best trash map, one of the, the arguably the best free to play support ever. Like, Shiryu is probably one of the competitors for this, but like, a free to play support that removes stuff up by one turn when hitting perfect that will be freaking huge going forward and just having more units in general that can do this will be so good smoker really eating i must say and it's nice on sora too even if sora also has the option of kosher support of course but yeah overall pretty happy with this patch i hope i get bon clay while pulling for other stuff since he's still a very interesting legend i'll, I'll have fun using him and if I don't pull him, I just have some fun with him as friend captain for now. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.